Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a tutorial on this look that I have on my eyes right now. This is a drugstore version of my going out nighttime eye look. This is what I would wear on a night out or a date or something like that, but instead of like high-end products, this is more of a drugstore video. So everything I used minus my eyelash curler is drugstore, so I hope you appreciate that. If you want to see more of this tutorial, then just keep on watching. First, we're going to use the NYX Angel Veil Perfecting Primer. I love this primer. As you can see, I'm running out. It does come off white, but don't worry, it blends into the skin very well. Rubbing in primer always makes me so red. So now that we've done our primer, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. This is for oily skin and this is in the shade Light. I have been enjoying this BB Cream so much. It stays super matte on my skin throughout the day. It has coverage like a foundation does and the price is right. So I'm going to take this and just put that on the back of my hand and it's pretty thick. And I'm going to take this dampened Real Techniques a beauty sponge and just take that and start working that into the skin and you want to do bouncing motions so that the foundation really sinks in to your skin more so than wiping we're actually going to a play tonight that's kind of why I'm all dressed up you can't see my dress but I'm dressed up My arm is so tired from the gym earlier, it actually hurts me to blend in my foundation. And then we're gonna use the Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline. This is like the little thing with the little thing. This is a thicker concealer, so I'm gonna use that same Real Techniques sponge and blend it in so that it doesn't look super cakey or anything and I normally take it up onto my eyelid and I'm going to set that concealer with the elf high definition under eye setting powder I guess I'll just use this this is the real techniques contour brush but it's small enough to fit under your eye Then I'm gonna set my whole face with this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, Real Techniques Powder Brush to do so. This is a really good powder. It does a really good job at keeping your foundation matte. Next, I'm gonna take this Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula. This is the medium to dark color, and I'm gonna use a e.l.f. blending brush to put this on my skin. It kinda, isn't it weird? This brush is also really good if you just want to contour. You just have to be careful with how much product you put on the brush because this is a really dense brush, so it can apply a product a little heavy. Next, I'm going to take this Milani Baked Blush. You can't even see the letters because I've used it so much. In uh, This is the blush in Luminoso. And this is just a Sonia Kashuk blush brush. This came in a limited edition set, but I'm pretty sure that Sonia uh, Kashuk has this brush just in normal packaging. I love Luminoso, it's so pretty. Then I'm gonna take this e.l.f. baked blush in Pink Tastic. If you've heard of Kathleen Lights, you have heard of this product. What kind of brush do I want to use this on? And I will take a Real Techniques stippling brush to put that on. You do have to work this highlighter up a little bit, but it's totally worth the price considering this was like $3. I'm just gonna take some on my finger and put it on a Cupid's bow. The next thing we're gonna do is our brows, and I'm gonna take this Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit, and it has three colors in there for whatever type of brow color that you do have. So I'm gonna use this one, which is kind of a taupey color, but in real life, like when you apply it, it does look a little dark, so just keep that in mind. I'm just gonna use the little brush that they gave me in there. Like 
And then for my brows, I'm just gonna set it with some Milani a Brow Shaping Clear Gel. I have had this forever. Hopefully it's still good. The wand is a little big. Then I am going to go back in with the Clean Matte BB Cream and just apply this to the base or to my lid just for a base for our eyeshadow. Make sure you go back in and set that with some of the powder we used before. Back to ColourPop's Hustle. We were just working that into our crease. When you're facing the mirror head on, you still want to be able to see the eyeshadow, so that's why we're placing it just a little bit higher than my actual crease. Next, we're gonna take ColourPop's eyeshadow in Midnight. This was made by Kathleen Lights, and I totally forgot that, but look at how beautiful that is. So we're just gonna take that on our finger because the metallic shades in ColourPop uh, tend to work best when you use your finger. So we're just gonna take this on the back of our finger and kind of just start placing that on our lids. Then we're gonna go back in with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Hustle and blend out the edges. And go back in with Midnight. Then we're gonna take some gel eyeliner. This is the Maybelline high studio thing and this is the purple one eggplant draw a wing the purple in this gel liner is really gonna make the reflex in the midnight shadow really pop so as you can tell I did smudge my winged liner just a little bit just I don't know make it something different. Make it more of a sultry kind of smoky look rather than having a really sharp line. This is not drugstore, but it's an eyelash curler. Use whatever eyelash curler you'd like. And I'm gonna use this Lash Blast Diffusion uh, Mascara by CoverGirl. This is what I use all the time. This is, this is my holy grail mascara, and it just happens to be drugstore. This is what the end looks like. So I'm not going to use falsies for this look, just, I don't know, to show that you don't need falsies and a dramatic look to have the look look good. Then I'm gonna take Hustle one more time by ColourPop and just start smudging that underneath the lower lash line. And this is just the end of the dual ended the brush from Eco Tools. I'm not dissing on any YouTuber that uses false lashes all the time, I just think that looks can look good without them. Then I'm actually gonna use this ColourPop highlight in Lunch Money and just put that on the inner corners of my lids. And I'm also gonna use a Lunch Money on the this part. I'm gonna use ColourPop's gel cream gel liner in best O and this is a maroon shade then I'm gonna coat my bottom lashes with mascara then we are done with the eyes so this is what they look like I think they turned out really really cool and different I chose purple as an accent color in this look because it suits my eyes the best because I do have green eyes definitely feel free to use any other color that complements your eyes so I'm gonna zoom you guys out and we are going to do lip for lips I'm going to use something that I have been loving this is the Milani Amore matte lip cream in loved and this is just kind of like a dark nude Then we're going to set our makeup with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. I'm running out of this stuff and I'm bummed because this is so good. I'm actually gonna go back in with the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic just really quick while 
our setting spray is still drying and just kind of intensify that a little bit because we lost a little pigment. That is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos of mine. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And I'm just gonna use a... Hi, yes, I would like to speak to my SD card. No, you are not full. We're filming this video. You're not full. Back to... Oh, mama. This is the Milani lip... Uh, nah. Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about my perfume collection. Now I know my channel is mainly about, you know, makeup related beauty and stuff like that, but I figured, hey, I have 